I'll uh, strip it first. Take everything out and clean it up. And it is also uh, need some treatment. So okay. Beautiful tool, how they made it, handmade. It is from uh, Dave's uh, father, from an, the, the old farm they uh, had. So that's, uh, I, will, I will make it completely back in order again. So some sand dust and some oil. So that looks much better. So now the blade, it has to be sharp and shiny. <laughs> so it is ready. So I now want to make here some spooky hands and there because I wanted that it can hang uh, I take a uh, white uh, blanket and make that like a ghost and so I want to make a face in there and hands so that it hangs on the on the ceiling and that it carries that uh, that tool because yeah that is really, really scary and uh, that is also what you see in uh, the horror movies so okay so i found this phone came from a wall somewhere so trying to uh, make some hands uh, from it yeah well and it takes it is a challenge but <laughs> okay take this off it's a little bit dark in here but uh, they will get me a light so <laughs> So now I have this. 
So I have to make a palm. So this can, I can split in two. And then on the longer part, I make pieces. I'm going to make fingers of it. Yeah, I just make everything up. <laughs> Too well, I'm uh, I'm working actually because uh, yeah, it just comes. <laughs> Difficult to explain. So I think uh, yeah, if I make it from this foam, a palm and fingers in parts, and then I take a, a iron wire, put it through it, and then you can yeah, would be great. Maybe I spray it later that you don't see that it is foam. But first, do this. left and right so now try to make some uh, fingers It's nice to tell uh, actually. When we were little, my mother was uh, very creative, and uh, uh, on the school, almost always uh, Wednesday afternoon, we were free. So, and a lot of kids uh, didn't know exactly what to do. So, my mother always was a volunteer. <laughs> I don't have it from a stranger. And just uh, help the kids to be creative with all kinds of material. And uh, yeah, so that this, uh, that, that is so great to. Uh, that she, that she did that and I, uh, we had an also big attic on our house and uh, always played with children there and uh, dressed up and make all kind of things, make little um, performance and uh, yeah so and I still do and I still like it but it is so nice that my parents always were very stim stimulate me to to do something else than sitting for the television. <laughs>
spooky little figures. But now the, the top of the finger. And I think I'm going to make it very pointy. So the hands are ready for now. <laughs> so that's the, yeah, little big, but yeah, that has to be big. It's Halloween, come on. So then I'm first going to start uh, on the head because I have all those fun, uh, thin uh, materials. So to make a head, I think I glue first a couple on each other, then it can dry and then I continue it uh, with it tomorrow. So, okay, let's do that. So I clued this together to make a head. It'll do. And now we have to get it hand, hands together. So with some iron wire, okay. A little bit clue but it's now turning around and then uh, yeah, I can paint it so while the hands are drying I can start with the head so I have an example it doesn't have to be exactly the same but it is just an example <laughs> it can also become a, a very strange creature head
so. <laughs> so, but I have to wait just to dry a little bit. You see still the, the kit in there. So it's, it's very ugh, sticky. So I let it dry and uh, continue tomorrow. <laughs> and in the meanwhile, Sharon is uh, decorated uh, inside. So I give you a little peek. So this is when you come in. <laughs> Welcome to Halloween. And see so many stuff. So it's going to be in here, the Grand Salon. So all the doors are going to be wide open. In here, the bar. Also, it's an actually three big rooms. So it's very really great to have a, a party. And all the floors are from wood. So. Yeah, this is then uh, when we can dine. So, yeah. So, it's going to be a lot of work to decorate, so that's why we start early. But it's going to be great. I have my uh, have different music list, different kinds of styles with uh, horror music and uh, so it's, yeah, it's going to be great. So, everything is ready. <laughs> I also use tape. It's much better effect than only the the foam. So yeah. And change. And one in the middle. So here I will hang that stuff and with the with the blanket. So <laughs> so I will hang it in the in the middle in the back. So if you come in first in the entrance hall and then in the <laughs> in the console on your directly oh this is so Halloween then. So okay, let's do this. I can first hang this up and then I do the ghost uh, around it.
this. Looks good. <laughs> nice in the middle. So now the head is to come in the middle, a little bit higher. Turned out great. Also with the tape, it's very good stuff actually. Just the painting uh, tape. So I first put the, the blanket over it and then I can first the hook, yeah, arm hook, then the blanket over it and then I can hang it up and see how it uh, looks. So that looks good, but maybe a little bit higher. Yes, yeah, a little bit, little bit higher. Yeah, that's better. A little bit higher. So the back, also here a little bit, okay, and now doing the beds, <laughs> uh, 40, so there are 40 beds, so I have to make a court <laughs> on all of them, but yeah, I'm, uh, that's why I'm always uh, started early with uh, preparations. Then it is, uh, it's nice that you're not so much pressure and then it's, everything is ready. So, well, let's start. So, the little pads. So then this room is uh, almost ready. I'll first start to hang some beds up in the in the dining dining room and in the in the entrance. But I will do that not today, tomorrow, because there are guests coming, so I cannot make too much mess anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 